Hello, I'm Jim Jenkins from Applied Technology Institute. I'm the founder and president of the company. Wanted to introduce you to some video samples from our courses. These video samples are the instructors who actually teach the course, giving you a brief description of what the course is intended to cover, what's unique about the course, and then you actually get to see them present five or six slides as part of the course to get a feel for the level. Hi, I'm Scott Peacock, work for Applied Technology Institute, and this is the course outline for a course on sonar signal processing. Um, this course is um, to provide an overview of all sonar signal processing with some very specific examples, uh, real life systems, and uh, we use quite a bit of uh, MATLAB code as examples that are that is provided as part of the course since MATLAB has been shown to be very good at prototyping and uh, generating new algorithms for sonar processing systems. Um, this outline uh, starts shows that the course starts with uh, introduction, uh, some math background and some uh, stochastic processes just to get people oriented and then we go into beamforming and array processing that is required for most systems. And in day two we talk about uh, motivating the need for signal processing, what is it about um, the underwater environment that provides the need for signal processing, and then some more theoretical view of uh, signal processing and what would be required to um, uh, get you detections when you may not normally be able to do it um, if you did not do signal processing. And then in the afternoon of day two we talk about um, real implementations of those uh, more theoretical, um, from a theoretical viewpoint now into real applications with uh, a number of uh, examples again in, in MATLAB to show how these things work. And uh, then later the uh, third day we talk about more of the implementations and then some very specific uh, examples of sonar signal processing systems, the parameters that are used and what they go after in uh, different situations. And then the last uh, module of, uh, in the morning of day three is some advanced processing that may not be in systems but has some, some uh, potential to, to really improve performance. And then in the last day is uh, the last part of the last day is doing active uh, sonar processing.